So how do you determine fair market? That is such a complex question. Um, but, you know, um, I, I just, I, I typed in a question into um, uh, one of the new AI systems today to figure out what a position might make, and it was completely wrong. So how an AI system might generate what fair market is might be different than what MGMA would say, which is different than Sullivan Cotter or different than AMGA. All these different tools have different values in terms of what they assign to be the median or the 75th percentile. But those are just numbers. Now, how to assign what's considered, quote, fair and what's you know compliant with fair market value, it seems that a lot of organizations define it differently. We've had organizations define it as the 75th percentile of MGMA. We've had organizations define it as the 90th percentile of MGMA. We've had organizations define it as the 120th percentile of, of the 120th percent of the 90th percentile. And then some look at a tri-blend with different surveys as well. We are just working on a negotiation with a surgeon now, and the employer is saying we need to keep everything under the 90th percentile for a rolling three-year period. And what their 90th percentile is different than what our 90th percentile is. So how do you say you're right and you're wrong? It's a very interesting question. And I don't know if there's ever like a, like a copy-paste answer for all the physicians out there, but I do think it's important that they understand what their value is, whether that's finding data with MGMA or, you know, which is still delayed. I mean, we've, it's, you know, um, it's, you know, early 2023 and we're still using 2021 MGMA data. So, you know, the data is delayed, even though it's, you know, branded the 2022 data set, it was captured in 2021. So there's a big delay in the data. So it's important that a physician gets get real-time data. Uh, one of the things that we offer at Contract Diagnostics is real-time compensation data so they know what the trends are today and last month and the month after, not what was the trend, you know, a year ago or maybe longer ago, which could have, you know, even been post-COVID. So the numbers are even still a little finicky. So it's important that all physicians understand fair market, but it's just so variable based on a lot of things that there's really no easy answer for the question.